It's your dude, Petri. Today I'll be playing Shinobi Door, Way of the Ninja. Released in 2006 on June 30th. It's a stealth ninja game made by Acquire and in Europe released by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. And in Japan it was uh, published by Spike. And since, uh, yeah, they uh, Acquire lost the rights to uh, Tenchu. They also made Tenchu. They lost the rights to From Software, so they couldn't make it anymore. And I don't know if this was already in development, but they said, Fuck it! We want another Ninja Stealth game, so we're making this! Shinobido! I have played very little to PS2 version. I have played the ever-living shit out of the PS Vita version, Shinobido 2. Revenge of Zin, I believe was it was called. So it's pretty much just a mission-based, stab and kill him stealth kind of game. With uh, cool movement and such. I really like the game. Or at least the second one. I am not entirely sure how much I like the first one. Oh, excuse me. But for the bit that I have played, it seemed pretty okay. Uh, just some fun facts about the game. In Japan, it was popular enough to get an expansion pack. A PS2 game with an expansion pack. Which had curated mission, fan-made missions which were curated by Spike themselves, I believe. And uh, they gave the thumbs up to about 130 extra missions. So, yeah. And uh, to the ones who uh, made those missions, they got the game plus the expansion plus some other memorabilia. Which is pretty nice. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, there's a mission editor, that's where the, uh, they got them from. So, I can change the aspect ratio, which isn't necessary. Show blood, you can change the language. I believe I want this to be reversed, because else it is stupid. Select voice, Japanese or English. Well, let's stick to Japanese. And, new game. Uh, we'll play on normal. Yeah, it uh, was not uh, possible to release it in the US for some reason. Um, yeah, they didn't state why, it was just out of their control. That was too bad. Um, Scoring-wise, it didn't do too good, it was very middling. Although in Japan, uh, Famitsu gave it a 34 out of 40. That's pretty nice. That's actually pretty good, that's like uh, almost an 8. And Metacritic, it is at 59. Uh, OPM, UK, official PlayStation magazine, gave it a 3 out of 10. Dear Christ. I remember it not being the best game, but it's better than a 3 out of 10. Shook, I am awake. Crows flying around. Let's see. Any more information I could give? Yeah, the story is silly. It's a ninja game. Kill people, get... Uh, so the point is that you are getting allied with strong lords and such, so that you may unravel your past and all that jazz. Uh, probably not the most important thing to know at a first look at. Let's just keep it at, uh, you lost your memories and your soul and you need to collect stones and uh, apparently you need... Uh, Influence of the great lords to do that. Chapter 1 Within the Darkness. Well, let's see then. I'm just gonna switch around a bit because I don't know what volume I'm on. Okay, it's fine. So there's a little Neko there. I have to say, your main character is... Kinda ugly. His name is Go. With an H on the end. It's, uh, it's in reverse because it's mirrored. And this shabby little hut is where you will be residing. For some reason it kinda makes me think of Digimon World. Not entirely sure why, though. But whatever. But 
So what's that? <laughs> He's also looking very difficult. He's a little bit, you know, his eyes are pointing outwards. He doesn't need to know what's in front of him, he just needs to know what's all around him. <laughs> I don't think Yamago means no, it means stop, right? <laughs> well, whatever. Funny translations are always part of the, uh, the somewhat older games. So now he has a fragment of his memory back. That's an arrow. Let's see, what did acquire... Uh, also develop the Wave the Samurai series, which I also want to do a video on because I really, really like Wave the Samurai. Uh, although I'm still debating if I'm actually going to do a full playthrough or just a look at. Maybe one of you uh, shall tell me what I should do about that. I'm on the fence either way. Hmm, okay, okay. They also developed No Heroes Allowed for the Wii and uh, I believe the re-release for the PS3 maybe, or perhaps not, that's another uh, company. Akiba Strip Undead and Undressed is also made by them, just like all the other Akiba series, Akiba Strip, Akiba Strip Festa and Akiba's Beat. Any other specific games that people would know? Octopath Traveler is apparently... Co-developed by them? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that. Also a game I should give some attention to. I'm not paying attention to this game at all. Apparently you are. I hope this cutscene is almost at an end because I don't want to make this too long. Loading, loading, loading. So in Japanese this game would be known as Shinobido Imashime. Oh yeah, and they found out the dreadful thing that's called motion blur, the later PS2 games. And I just despise it, man. I don't like it. It's horrible. It looks horrible. It is horrible. Uh, let's see if I can get the lighting more oh, better. Yeah, that's better. Well, I'm a ninja. I wouldn't show myself, now would I? Now we get some basic controls explained to us. And then we kill some guards. And then we kill some more guards. And then we kill some merchants. And perhaps we escort somebody, but I don't like those missions, so I usually don't do them. I just do the assassination missions, but I'll try and do one for this video, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot that the entire tutorial is also spoken, so if I just skip it, he just keeps talking. So yeah, you can crouch with R1, you can roll with uh, cross button, and then you can assassinate with triangle if I actually did that. And L1 is targeting. Yeah, I screwed up the first opponent, nice, nice, nice. Okay, but we can pick him up and just get over here. Oh, I just remembered this. I can jump. <laughs> but let's see. You can also sprint by holding circle. 
I can't can go there. Uh, I was supposed to head this way, wasn't I? Yeah, I can also switch the camera from first to or from third to first person. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't care. Let's see. Did I fix the camera? Yeah, this is more like it. Let's see. Can I do that jump? I can. Okay, so there's a dude. So let's. Oh dear. That's not what I want. Okay. Hit. And he uh, called for help. I keep on forgetting that you actually need to lock on to do any kind of accurate attack. So I'm just entirely playing this game wrong. So let's just go away. <laughs> Run in here. Yes, I know. I know game. Uh, at the top you can see they're all looking for me. So if I just run... <laughs> the tutorial does get annoying. Let's see. I... You could say I want... Escape, please. <laughs> and if I just sneak here... They eventually lose interest in me. Because they can't find me. Either. They lost me now and the controller is vibrating. Because uh, it indicates they're looking for me. They apparently found me. Oh, not yet. Let's see, is uh, there a jump assassination in this game? <laughs> yeah, that's how you usually do that. But uh, I just uh, made myself suspicious again by murdering somebody in cold blood. For now, let's just run away again. You wouldn't believe me, but I was actually pretty good at the Vita version. <laughs> but this is one of those games you really have to play often to get uh, a good grasp on it. Let's see if I can get him off my tail and uh, get him to spread a bit. Ah, oh, wait. Uh, my usual tactic was just running up and instantly killing them. Because that usually worked the best. I mean... Meh! They usually don't get to see you, only uh, you have to watch out that they're not all together. Uh, yeah, that was really smart of me. Camera controls are kinda heavy, so that's a bit annoying. So, jeez, what happened there? I flew, and apparently I instantly died because of that. Okay, perhaps I uh, should play a little bit more careful. Oh, the game is just... Oh, wait, I hit the cutscene trigger. <laughs> Was flying. Nice, nice, nice. Loading, loading, loading. Yes, I do know how that works. So you can get equipment, you can buy items just like uh, shuriken and such to throw at them. Uh, I have about 500 mon right now, so I can also get a grappling hook, shell drops, weak landmine, oh dear. <laughs> Spleen medicine of health, super strength potion, well, I'm just kind of interested in this, so I'll get... 10 of those. I want to buy that. <laughs> Pigeon, get me my shuriken. Uh, and my Japanese isn't perfect, so if anybody does speak uh, Japanese well or read it well, just don't take any offense to me trying to translate the title. But as far as I'm aware, Do means way or way of, as Shino B would be way of the ninja. So yeah. It would be Way of the Ninja and Shin Shine could also go for death. So kinda yeah. Self-explanatory really. So we open a mission scroll. And we can get some advice, some results, some letters. But we're interested in the missions. So we have a transport mission and a total destruction mission, which just kill everyone. Just murder them. Which we are going to do. So let's read the mission. The Amorita. Uh, faith is your true home. Now that Asuka is are no more, Akame, the lord from the next province, 
feels that Uka, Utakata is ripe for the picking. There will be war. Ichijo tried to win me over to his side, but I didn't fall for it. It is those of us who belong to the Amurita faith, the true friends of the people who will gain control of Utakata. Your loss of memory is no doubt all part of the divine Amorita's plan. Please consider using this opportunity to join forces with me. You may not remember it, but I always thought you were a force to be reckoned with. My spies tell me that Ichijo's men are in Sengen town for all that talk about wait and wanting to avoid a war. They certainly didn't waste any time in preparing for battle. I want you to launch a surprise attack on them, wipe them all out. Of course, no one must connect this to me. I don't want to start a full-scale war just yet. As for those stones you are searching for, I have already begun inquiries of my own. There are many members of the Amorita Fae who have close ties with this, to this area. I await your response. Well, let's accept it. I'm gonna be honest, I would never want to work for this dude because he seems like a religious extremist. Any kind of extremist really doesn't ring a good bell with me. <laughs> He's kind of using me to uh, be uh, his murderer. I mean, that's kind of the point. I'm a ninja. I get that. I get that. Stop. But yeah. So let's see. Loading, loading, loading. So yeah, I just have to kind of murder everyone. And as a bonus, if I'm not seen, that's... Uh, I get extra money and such. But in the top you can see the radar, but I am woefully bad at understanding what it's actually portraying. Because I would think I would need to go towards the red point. <laughs> but let's see. That's not what I want to do, but... I fell! <laughs> and I can get up, and I want that mushroom. Uh, you can pick up stuff with triangle. Oh dear. Come on, get up there. Thank you. Go. Cool. Ah, there's the dude. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Yeah, the lock-on system is kind of jank because it doesn't lock on if you're not close enough. Yeah. Ah, I wasn't fast enough or it, I didn't give me the proper... Uh, the proper command. Damn it. So I didn't instantly kill him. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? I'm bad at this game. I'm just gonna chill up here. You'll chill out. Oh, you're gonna jump up here. Oh, I can do some... I was about to say I can do some ninja shit, but... I hope so! <laughs> Come on. I am a sneaky ninja. I should have uh, changed that genre to uh, not so sneaky ninja. You know what? Fuck this! <laughs> this is gonna take forever. I'm just going to run away. Yeah, you can get away real quick in this game. You just kinda jump everywhere and it doesn't really matter. Wait. Oh, he already spotted me. Okay, well, the sneaky route is no longer an option, so let's just... Yeah, I don't remember how this works. Because I do remember that part of the game which that would work really well. So let's just pull a classic battery move. Kill a bitch. I said, kill a bitch. This is how many hits does this dude take. Ninja shit! This dude has... I carved all his <laughs> limbs off. But... I'm gonna just real quick pick up the manual. Don't mind me. Let's see. 
Uh, is there anything about struggling in here? I'm just gonna do a real, real, real quick look. Da, 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 da. I don't think so. Nope. Or at least not at first glance, so I don't care. Ooh, I want whatever he had. Bye. He had a health potion. Nice. Oh, there's still there's only one guy left. Ninja drop! You're in the corner! Okay, so the other people have not spotted me yet. They probably will because I play like an absolute fucking buffoon. <laughs> ah, wait, they're fighting? The hell is happening there? Well, he's now. I meant to drop down. Damn it. Yeah, I'm giving a horrible <laughs> impression of this game. Because you really don't have to play it like a stealth game if you really don't want to. And, uh, yeah, I never played Tenchi, so I don't quite remember. But I do believe that game is slightly more brutal. As in, it would straight up just fuck you over if you're not doing it exactly right. I like how this guy's just calmly sitting there. I'm an executioner. Skill points. Okay, minus one. Yeah, that was pretty bad. But I still got plus four percent, which is, I believe, the best you can get. So, let's just do another mission. The assassination, transport, thievery. So I can get uh, some mistake um, document. Uh, also, the logo to the left is indicating which faction I'm working for. And in the perfect world, you get them all allied with you. And in the later part of the game, uh, you are doing missions against the other factions. And uh, if they actively find out you're in, uh, in there, uh, against that faction, they will subtract uh, trust of you. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, a balancing act there. Crow, you train well, don't you? I assume you've heard of the merchant Midoriya. Plus Ultra! Okay, I had to, sorry. Well, I want you to assassinate this Midoriya. Man, I should have waited. I can't allow anyone to support Sadame like they have. It's true that someone in my position shouldn't attack civilians, but if this one death can prevent the deaths of many others, I have no choice in the matter and will be able to weaken Sadame's forces at the same time. Midoriya is currently in, uh, in Honshu Shimoyashiki with Sadame's men. I am sure you understand that I need this operation to be carried out with the utmost secrecy. I have strong doubts as to whether you can handle this or not, but give it all you've got. I don't care if you fuck up as long as I'm not imp uh, implied to be the one that ordered it, but that's fine. Okay. Let's try to actually assassinate this one. I'm pretty sure I know which one this is and uh, what to not do. Because if this is the fat merchant dude with the gun, uh, don't jump on the roof. He will instantly spot you and uh, yeah, it's just a bad time all around. This game is going a lot smoother if you just straight up assassinate people. Yeah, it's this dude. <laughs> he, has a bad, he has the best line. If you kill him, he says, Oh, I never get to spend my money. <laughs> How truly unfortunate. Mops. Yeah, if you're real good at the game, you probably just dispose of the bodies and... Very secretive little places, but I ain't that good. And it's very dark out there. So that probably means there isn't guards walking around. Yeah, if I jump up there uh, on that roof, he'll instantly spot me because he's usually in the room with the open door. Yeah, if I'm going to be honest, this game would be uh, a tad more... Uh, enjoyable if the camera is a little bit further off because you can't see a lot. You don't know what's exactly happening, which is kind of the point, I guess. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Get. Mm. I just want to sneak. I don't want to get on the wall. 
Okay, so there is an enemy close by, but like right now I can't spot him at all. Yeah, there he is. Can I? Yes, I can. Now don't be a noisy little man. I also do not remember how to silently open uh, the sliding doors. You can, I know, but I'm bad at it. Okay, triangle, good. Okay, uh, usually he is in here, he is not. I'm trying to be a sneaky sneak. Can I get up on the roof here? Yeah, the cameras. Quite, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You just ram them out there. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, the controls are a little, a little bit, a bit shifty. So, perhaps that tree uh, given by OPM is not entirely unreasonable. So let's see. Nobody there. Yeah, they're also uh, usually on a pattern, so you usually can just... Uh, if you do the mission multiple times, you know where they are. Oh dear, not what I wanted. Can I perhaps... Kill him around the wall? I don't think I can. No, no! Ah, I didn't want to do that! I swear I didn't want to do that. Stop it! Stop kicking me! You little shit! This ain't Taekwondo, this is Shinobi though! Oh, this is. Stop! You absolute fuck! That annoyed me. No, yeah, okay, that's clear. You can't do the assassin. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> Come on. Oh god, he found me. Yeah, he has that gun of his, and I don't know where he is, and... Okay, there he is. Uh, floaty run, let's go! <laughs> I'm an ice skater now! Okay. Yeah, they're trying to find me. Yeah, the sneaking... I don't entirely get how you can get off a wall easily. <laughs> Physics are fun though, uh, if you attack them well uh, in sneak or with a running attack, they just go flying. I believe with um, rocks and such, or maybe shurikens, there you can pull their attention away from uh, where they were going. So you can also get them to where you're going. Let's see if I can spot him and actually murder him this time. Without him getting to spot me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just pretty much run around here. As long as I'm uh, not instantly spotted. Ah oh dear. Are you behind door number one? Ah, I hear him. I think. I still don't entirely get the compass. Okay, there is somebody close by. There are two persons close by. Can I open the door from there? Yeah, that's what I wanted. No one here. There are now three persons close by. Oh dear, not what I wanted. Honestly, I just want to jump up. Oh god.
I have no idea where he is because of the lightning. Ah, damn it, he's me. Yeah. Yeah. Physics, baby! Oh dear. Ouch. You know what? I'm just gonna run away. Uh, I suppose that was a geisha or something, or his wife, or... Okay, I'll just go where the Coltrop is pointing me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I just ran into a wall there. I still don't know if the red point is actually where I need to go. Ah! Just jump normally. I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe I should have practiced a little teeny tiny bit more. Ah, I'm pretty sure I can handle this, dude. And you're dead. I actually did a thing. Okay. I'm going out of the castle's prefecture again. That's not what I need to go. He's actually quite hard to find for such a fat man. I don't know how dark this is on the recording, but this is probably going to be very hard to look at if you're on YouTube. So, I'm sorry about that. Uh, nope, that's just guard. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I'm trying to find the fat man. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect him to be this hard to find. He in here? No, that's just his geisha, or whatever you would call it. Nani? Yeah. Oh, she throws uh, fucking uh, everything at me. Is the dude, man. <laughs> Not here. Get off the wall. Not in here either. <laughs> Come on, fat man, show yourself. Yeah, if you're a bit versed in this game, this usually only takes like a minute or two, but I am, as you can see, not mentally capable of actually being a functional human being. I really don't remember how to do that. Be physics. Give me that. A curing mushroom. I really don't think that uh, Compass is sending me anywhere useful because I'm at the first staircase again and I'm still getting nowhere. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm gonna be real honest here. If I don't get him in the next four or five minutes, I'm just going to end it there because, you know, it's gonna take a little while. The video is as long as it's gonna be. I think you get the basic idea anyway. Find people, murder people. Transport things. Although usually those are the least fun missions. You just kind of export a merchant. Or export... <laughs> uh, what's the right word? You just get a... Escort. Not export. Escort them to their uh, destination and kill everything in between. What are you doing? Well, don't care. 
I think I've killed most of the guards at this point and I still haven't found the fat man. Is he also just moving around? Come on. Ah, this is outside the prefecture again. <laughs> Hello there, kitty. Yeah, I'm really confused as of where he would be at this point. Yeah, this is just the other entrance. I've looked at the main house, right? And he wasn't there. I've seen his female companion. Ah, there's another guard. Well, he dies quick. Can I can enter here. Oh, I can. Perhaps he's in one of those. Then. Elf mushroom. I could use that. I should use that. But at this point, I just want to get it done, man. I just want to murder the dude. Where the hell did he go? I am so confused right now. I didn't want her. Throw! Get her out of here. Special mushroom. Okay, legitimately, I'm I'm at a loss here. Where can he be? <laughs> One of these? None. Ah, that sounds like a pet dude. No, that just sounds like you. Like a normal dude. <laughs> ah. Okay, now I'm just determined to end this. Uh, let's see. Can I even use items? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Ah, oh, now I'm just back in the main house. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Oh god. Yes, I want them there. I want them there. And then we can. Yay. Okay. Ooh, there is somebody close by. Where though? I keep saying it, but I don't think I have actually said why I know there's somebody close by. There's eye indicators on the top. If there's somebody close by. But the game actually doesn't lock on to them. Which is... Quite annoying. Okay. Apparently they're not in that direction. <sighs> Is he in this one then? Not a dark dressing room, I suppose not. At this point, I just want to find the man. Just let me murder him. At this point, I'm pretty sure I would believe he just ran. Just said, fuck it, I'm not staying here. I mean, I wouldn't blame him. It would annoy me. <laughs> I've murdered everyone in this compound and I can't find this dude. He did give me an indicator just a bit ago, but I can't find him, man. I'm just gonna go on the roof again, see if uh, there's anything there. <laughs> nope. Can I? Probably here, right? Yeah, I can get on there. I 
think the Caltrop compass thing is just pointing me to wherever it feels like. And once again, there's apparently someone close by. Is he in here? Ah, yes. Can I sneak around here? And then just open it there. No! Stop it! You've been a bastard! And you're going to fucking die! Just... Kick! <laughs> he closed one! I'll never get to spend my money! Well... I'm very sorry for that long video. I'm so ashamed of myself. I can never be a ninja. But I'm like 300 pounds and like 6 foot 8. So I'm not ashamed to say that I'll never be a ninja. Mission complete. Uh, it took me a long ass time. Everybody knew I was there. But I think I just about murdered everyone. So there's nobody left to know. Unless the postman comes in the morning. And he's just like. Oh gosh. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Health loss, minus 68 <laughs> points. You suck. <laughs> well, that wasn't amazing. I tried. I tried so hard and I'm just bad. Well, I'm gonna end it off there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. And uh, good luck on whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. Bye-bye.